Getting an angry customer to back off. Being intimidated by difficult customers, ignoring their behavior, or tiptoeing around the situation, is not healthy or productive. In most cases, it doesn't even lead to customer satisfaction. Many employees quit service industry forever because of the unpleasant experience they go through while handling an angry guest. Here are some six field tested strategies to get irate customers to calm down. Apologize. An apology makes the angry guest feel heard and understood. It diffuses anger and it allows you to begin to re establish trust. Studies have found that the simple act of apologizing has reduced lawsuits and defense costs. You need to apologize to the guest, regardless of whose fault it is. Of course, your apology needs to be carefully worded. Here is an example of a sincere, yet careful apology. Please accept my sincere and unconditional apology for any inconvenience this may have caused you. Kill them softly with diplomacy. This simple phrase never fails to affect anyone. Clearly, we have upset you, and I want you to know that getting to the root of this matter is just as important to us as it is to you. When you say this, anger begins to dissipate. You've addressed the anger directly and non-defensively. Moreover, you have not been pulled into the drama of an attack. Go into computer mode. To use computer mode, you take on the formality of a computer. You speak generally, without visible emotions. And you don't take the bait, your angry, or difficult guest is throwing you. Your tone, words, and attitude, are completely impersonal, and neutral. Think of the automated voice response system, that you listen to, when you speak to a mobile company, or a bank. This response deflects, diffuses, and disarms angry customers, because you don't add fuel to the fire, by giving your difficult customers, what they want. And that is an emotional reaction from you. When you don't take the bait, the difficult customer is forced, to stop dead in their tracks. That means you regain control, and confidence. For example, you don't give a damn to your customers. Once you get a customer checked in into your hotel, the service aspect is over. It may be tempting to add fuel to the fire, by an equally hostile response, such as What's your problem? Don't take the bait. If you do take the bait, the situation will only become worse. Nothing positive, or productive, will result. A computer mode response might look like one of these responses. People do get irritated when they don't immediately get the service they need. It's very annoying to experience a delay in service response. Nothing is more distressing than feeling that you are being passed around from one department to another when all you want is some simple help. And then you simply stop just like a locked up computer. No matter how uncomfortable the verbal abuse is, or how ridiculous it becomes, continue to respond without emotions. This tactics works, because it is neutral. It doesn't pick up a fight and hence, it is unexpected. The difficult guest wants to throw you off balance, make you lose control, and get you to respond emotionally. When he fails to do any of this, you actually regain control of the situation. Ask the question. Have I done something personally to upset you? I would like to be a part of the solution to your problem. Of course, you know you haven't done anything to upset the customer. You do this to force the angry customer to rethink about his behavior. Often, the mere act of asking this question is enough to get the ballistic customer to shift from right brain response to left brain response. He can now begin to listen and rationalize his response. Show empathy. Empathy can be a powerful tool 
used to disarm an angry guest, and to demonstrate, that you genuinely care, for the inconvenience the customer has experienced. Expressing empathy is also good for you. Empathy helps you to truly begin to see the problem, from the customer's angle. And it will help you from losing your own cool, when your customer gets hot under the collars. By letting your customer know, that you understand why they are upset, you build a rapport between you and them. Here are some sample sentences, that express empathy. That must have been very frustrating for you. I realize the weight you encountered, was an inconvenience. If I were in your place, I am sure, I'd feel just as you do. It must have been very frustrating, to have waited 45 minutes, for your order to arrive, and for that, I am really sorry. Show appreciation. Show appreciation for the difficult person's feedback. After your difficult customer has shouted enough, you can regain control of the conversation by interjecting, not interrupting, to thank the customer, for taking the time to give you a feedback. Here are some sample sentences, on how to say this. Thank you for taking the time, to let us know how you feel. Thank you for being so honest. We appreciate guests, who let us know when things aren't right. Thanks for caring. The reason why it works so effectively is because, the last thing your irate guest expects, is for you to respond with gratitude, and appreciation. It's a shock factor, and many a times, you will find that the customer is stunned silent. This, is exactly what you need. Next time you are the target of any angry guest, try these six tips, and regain control of the proceedings.